Hello everyone and I welcome you all in this learning video where we are going to discuss the problem on uh, Bayes theorem problem based on uh, Bayes theorem okay so the problem says the content of on 1 2 3 are as follows so for the sake of good understanding let me draw urns so I am drawing urns say this is urn 1 this is urn 2 and this is on 3 okay so these are 1 2 3 now the content of on 1 2 3 are as follows so first contain 2 white so let me write 2 white then 2 black so 2 b and 3 red so 3 r so i am denoting black by b red by r and white by w now the second contain 2 white balls next one black ball and one red ball and the last one contains four white balls five black balls and three red balls okay so this is the uh, this is what is given to us and now it's saying one on is chosen at random so out of these three on one on is chosen at random and two balls are drawn so on maybe any one of this and two balls are drawn they happen to be white and red okay so let me define an event let a b an event let a be an event that uh, the ball chosen okay ball are drawn where it is two balls are drawn and they happen to be white and red so i can write let a be an event that that the two balls uh, the two balls are red where it is uh, white and red okay so let me write it as precisely are white and Red. Okay, and one on is chosen. So if one on is chosen, so what I can write? I can write here the events. Now that on may be first or second or third. Okay, so I am just writing down the events now. Let let even be the event. Let even be the event that the ball that the balls are drawn balls are drawn from on one. Likewise you can define E2 be the event that the balls drawn from on two and E3 be the events that the balls are drawn from on free okay so i'm writing like this so you have to write this uh, entire sentence don't do like this just to uh, save some time i'm writing this but in the examination it is expected to uh, write the complete sentences okay now even be the event e2 be the event and e3 be the event that the ball is drawn okay now what is the probability of even the probability of even the balls can be drawn from any of the urn and how many urns are there three so what is the probability of even one by three likewise probability of e2 is e is also one by three and same is the probability of e3 which is also one by three okay so this is what i can write with the help of the question okay now what is asked what is the probability that they come from on one so we have to find out what we have to find out we have to find out probability of what probability of an event and that event is this which is already happened okay we have to find out sorry we have to find out the probability of uh, probability of ei given a okay because 
we are known to we just uh, we know that this event has occurred that two balls have been drawn and those balls are white and right so this is known to us means this is given and we have to find what is the probability that it is coming from on one okay so we have to find out probability of ei by k so let me find out first of all all the things so so what we have done we have defined an event and then events uh, e1 e2 e3 and the probabilities okay now i will find the probability of a by e1 so what does it mean probability of a by e why i am finding this because it will i will need all these things in order to get the uh, probability uh, that the two balls are drawn from on number 1 okay so what is probability of a given even this indicates uh, this indicates probability of let me like probability of white and red balls given that given that it is from on 1 okay given that it is from on 1 okay so how one can write the probability now what is the probability okay so i have to make an on so here i am writing so we have this is on number 1 where we have this is on number 2 and this is on number 3 okay so in on number 1 how many balls two white three black and three red is it no two black okay and in on number 2 how many balls are there we have two white one black and one red and here five white Four black and three red. Is it? Okay. Now, uh, what is the probability of choosing uh, two balls, namely one white and one red ball, from on one? So, how many balls are there? We have, we have how many balls? Two white. And out of this two, how many I want? One. So, I will choose in how many ways? I will choose it in two C one in two. now one red ball so how many red balls are there three red balls i have to select one so this is 3c1 okay now in the on how many total balls are there total balls are 2 plus 2 4 plus 3 7 and out of 7 how many i want i want two so you can solve this what is it 2c1 is 2 into 3 and what is 7c2 what is ncr formula for combination n factorial r factorial n minus r factorial okay so what is it 7 7 c2 is 7 factorial 2 factorial 5 factorial so this is 7 into 6 upon 2 so this 2 uh, get cancel and this is 3 so this is 21 okay so 3 ones are 7 are so this comes out to be 2 by 7 likewise you can find out <coughs> the probability of a sorry b what is it okay next you can find out probability of a a is an event where we have to withdraw two balls and we know that the two balls are white and red so if if it is the case of on two so what is it so in how many ways i can select white balls in 2c1 ways and red ball can be select in 1c1 ways and how many balls are there four so it can be select in 4c2 ways so what is it 2c1 is 2 into 1 upon 4c2 is 4 uh, factorial upon 2 factorial into 2 factorial so this can written as 4 into 3 into 2 factorial get cancelled to 2 so this is 2 3 is a 6 So this is one by three. Likewise, you can find out the probability of 
probability of an event A given that given E3. Okay, so from here if you can find it is in 5C1 ways into 3C1 ways and there are actually 12 balls. So 2 balls can be chosen in 12C2 ways. Now what is, the, what is the value of this? Now just pause the video for a second and try to find out the value of this and then tell me. So pause the video and try to find out this by using combination. So I hope you might have found out this value and the value comes out to be 2 by 11. Okay, so we got all these values. Now we are able to find out the required probability. So what is asked? It is asked uh, that we have to find out the probability. So I am writing required probability. Required probability. What was that? What is the probability that the ball is drawn from on one? Okay. So probability of E E R even given that the event is A. So now apply the base theorem and find out its value. So what it should be? It should be probability of E1 into probability of A given E1 upon sum. So how many mutually exclusive events are given? 3. So my summation will run from uh, I equal to 1, 2, 3 P of E i into P of E i into P of A given E i. Now you can run a summation over this. So you remember this probability of E1, E2, E3 are 1 by 3. Okay. So what is it now? So I can just uh, write it like here. Therefore probability of E1 by A is equal to what is probability of uh, okay let me write once again probability of e1 into probability of a by e1 upon when you run a summation here it would be probability of e1 into probability of a by e1 plus probability of e2 into probability of a by a given e2 plus probability of e3 into probability of uh, a by E3. Now you have all these values. Just substitute and try to get the answer. So what is it? 2 by 7. Okay. So when you substitute all those values. So P of E1. P of E1 is uh, 1 by 3. Into P of A by E1. Is A by E1 is 2 by 7. Here it is again 1 by 3. Into 2 by 7 plus. Uh, P of E2, 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 plus, what is it? P of E3, 1 by 3 into 2 by 11. When you solve this, you will be getting probability of even given A comes out to be, can you do it? Can you do the calculations? Okay. And this comes out to be 66 upon 1 85 66 upon 185 <clears throat> now uh, this completes the problem now the problem asked in the <clears throat> given question was like you have to find out the probability that the ball come from on one now you can take the same problem and you can find out uh, that the balls come from the urn number 2. So what you need to find? You just need to find probability of E2 by A. And if it is coming from urn 3, so the probability would be probability of E3 given that the event is occur. Okay. So this is what we have in this learning video. We will continue this by taking one more example on the same topic and then 
will uh, finish this topic and start the new one okay so thank you for watching this learning video